Space management has become increasingly important in the South African liquor retail environment as new products are constantly being listed, which increases the demand for prime space. Through effective space management, consulting with retailers with objective, fact-based category management principles, our aim is to be the partner of choice in assisting them to strategically manage their coolers and ambient areas to improve sales, profits, and customer satisfaction. Liquor category consumer insights show that 87% of retail beer is sold cold from the fridge, 55% of beer is sold between Friday to Sunday, 45% of beer shoppers will leave the store without buying if their preferred brand or pack is not available, and 27% of beer shoppers are influenced at the point of purchase. This highlights the importance of allocating the correct forward shares in walk-in fridges and gravity feeders and ensuring we have ambient displays, in-store beer theatres, points of interruption and correct price management as reminders to buy cold beer. The benefits of effective space management include preventing out of stocks through having sufficient stock and space available based on rate of sale, increased profitability through allocating appropriate forward share to brands and high mainstream stock turn driving profit. Increased probability of cold products available to customers due to less top-ups during busy periods. And an enhanced customer shopping experience as products are more easily found once placed in their correct categories. To effectively manage space in an outlet, it is important to first determine the shopper flow of the store. Next, identify strategic opportunities for ambient displays. Determine which are the entrance and exit doors to the cooler and identify the busiest gravity feeder door. In specialist and warehouse liquors, we focus on ambient forward shares, walk-in fridge and gravity category flow and shares. Let's take a look at these measures. Ambient forward share measures refer to the beer and AFB floor displays and stock pressure in the outlet. These displays serve several functions communicating price, presenting an opportunity for consumers to purchase directly from the stack, or as a reminder to purchase cold beer from the fridge. As we enter the store, we see bold and impactful mainstream displays of our power brands at the front of the store. Genesis light boxes, a beer theater, and clear pricing have effectively been used at the first point of impact in the store. Promotional pricing communication has been reinforced from the outside price poster to the front of the store black label display and again on the price matrix in the cooler. Premium displays have been merchandised together with Casa Light and Hansa Mars and Gold displays flanking an Anstel display. Note the price points of Hansa Mars and Gold at mainstream pricing and the Casa Light case price of 118 Rand being above target of at least 3 rand less than the Amstel case price. Appropriately positioned next to the AFB category in the gravity, we find a brutal fruit display, driving awareness of the promotion currently running on this brand. The location of the display serves to direct consumers to conveniently purchase this brand cold from the gravity doors. We also see a red's point of interruption cross-merchandised with medium-priced wine next to the savannah display at the back of the store. At the SAB Quartz Fridge, a bulk display communicates the aggressive price point of single castle lager quartz. The positioning of the display next to the upright fridge serves to drive purchase of cold product directly from the cooler. Lastly, at the till point at the front of the store, a Peroni stand encourages an impulsive purchase with the four-pack price point displayed. SAB's forward share target is to own a minimum of 70% of all beer, cider and RTD ambient displays. Forward share measures include all convenience and bulk displays on the floor, including beer stacks, court stacks, beer theatres, flexi stands and easy reach fridges. Top of fridge displays are excluded as consumers cannot shop from these displays. 
a display must have a minimum of five cases of stock. And remember that the more stock pressure you have, the more impactful the display will be. Forward chair is counted using the aerial view measurement, where only the stock touching the floor is counted and not how high the stacks are. One aerial footprint of stock touching the floor equals one facing. For example, this Hansa Pilsner display has a count of eight facings. Our four chair targets are two, have a minimum of one mainstream display, own 50% of premium beer display share versus competitor premium beers, own 50% of AFB display share versus competitor AFBs, and own 70% of the total display share versus total direct competitors. Using this store as a practical example to count our forward share, Carling Black Label has 9 facings, Hansa Pilsner 8, Castle Lager 13, Quartz Display 3, Castle Light 4, Hansa Mars and Gold 4, Peroni 2, Brutal Fruit 11, and Reds 2. Competitor facings consist of Amstel 4 and Savannah 4. SAB has a total of 56 facings while the competitor has 8. The total facings in the store is thus 64. SAB share is 56 of the total 64 facings in the store which equals to a total forward share of 87%. We can also see that we have 10 premium facings while the competitor has 4. We thus have 10 out of the 14 premium facings which equals to 71% premium beer display share. The same principle applies to work out your AFB display share versus competitors. Let's recap the forward share principles. SAB's ambient forward share target is to own 70% of all beer, RTD and cider displays. SAB and competitor convenience and bulk packs are counted. A display must have a minimum of 5 cases. Share is counting using the aerial view method where one aerial footprint equals one facing. Included in the share count are all convenience and bulk stacks and displays, beer theatres, flexi stands and easy reach fridges. Excluded from the share count are top of fridge displays as well as all wines, spirits and soft drinks. SAB must have a minimum of one mainstream display and we must own 50% of premium beer display share and 50% of AFB display share versus competitors. The category flow that we follow in the gravity and walk-in fridges leads with the mainstream beer, followed by local premium beer, international premium beer, then ciders and RTDs. The high stock turn of mainstream beer is volume with profit for the retailer and these products must always be placed at the entrance to the cooler or at the busiest gravity door. SAB products are placed next to and preceding their strategic competitor brand within the subcategory. For example, Hansa Mars and Gold and Castle Light next to Amstel, Grolch next to Heineken, Reds next to Hunters, Sarita next to Savannah, and brutal fruit before spin and storm. Remember to avoid merchandising our brands in dead spaces of the cooler. Allocation of cooler space by category is based on what is referred to as the 45-30-25 principle. This principle is based on the Nielsen volume share split on a national basis of total convenience pack beer, cider and RTD sales or LADS as the category is known. This split includes sales of all supplier brands and guides us as to how cooler space should be allocated accordingly. Viewed graphically, 
This split shows us that 45% of cooler space should be allocated to mainstream beer, 30% to premium beer, and 25% to cider and coolers combined. SAB's share target of the walk-in fridge and gravity feeder is 68%. This represents the total space allocated to SAB products. We'll look at level 1 and level 2 measures and scoring for walk-in fridges and gravity feeders. Level 1 measures refer to our mainstream, premium and AFB target shares of the total cooler space. Our target is to own 45% of the space with mainstream beer, to own 16% with SAB premium beer and to own 7% of the space with SAB AFBs. This gives us a total share of 68% of the cooler. Level 2 targets are to own 45% of the space with mainstream beer. SAB should own 55% of total domestic premium beer space and 50% of total international premium beer. And we should own 30% of total AFBs in the cooler. The proliferation of SKUs particularly in the RTD category, places a squeeze on the mainstream and premium beer space, which negatively affects their forward shares. Our objective is to protect mainstream forward share, ensure our premium and AFB brands have their deserved share, and to highlight slower moving brands to retailers. This allows faster moving brands the space and location they deserve, while adding more profit to the retailer's bottom line. Shelving units placed in coolers is one way to effectively restrict the space of slower moving brands to the forward share they deserve, thereby opening up gravity and cold floor space for better performing lines. The shelves are primarily for slow moving RTDs and ciders, and infrequently purchased or imported beer lines may also be placed on the shelves. The shelving must be placed towards the back of the cooler with the AFB category. The products on the shelves must be merchandised in six packs, side on. It is important to remember that shelves are included in the share count in walk-in fridges and that one shelf equals one facing. Be sure that you have planned the use of shelving correctly for the store, knowing where you will place it in the fridge, which brands will be placed on the shelves and what we will gain in share. Another useful negotiation tool that can be used to ensure correct allocation of space are the beer and AFB one pages that have been created for you to highlight performing and non-performing SKUs within your region. To calculate share in a gravity feeder, we look at share of shelf. One shelf equals one facing and equally half a shelf equals half a facing. Convenience packed beer ciders and RTD six packs and singles are counted as well as quarts as consumers will purchase these products directly from the gravity feeder. Wines and soft drinks are excluded as they do not directly compete with the lads category. It is important to note that only the stock touching the shelf is counted and not additional stock that may be double stacked. Counting each shelf as one facing there is a total of 48 facings available in this gravity feeder. Of this, SAB products occupy 33.5 facings, while the competitor occupies 14.5. SAB's share is thus 33.5 facings of a total of 48, which equals to a gravity share of 69%. As was illustrated with the forward shares, a more detailed count by subcategory will ascertain our level 1 and 2 mainstream premium and AFB shares. Let's recap the gravity feeder share principles. SAB's share target is to own 68% of the gravity feeder space. Share is counted using share of shelf where one shelf equals one facing 
and half a shelf equals half a facing. We count our total share of the gravity as well as our mainstream, premium and AFB level 1 and 2 shares. Included in the share count are convenience pack beer, RTD and cider 6 packs and singles as well as all quarts. Wines and soft drinks are excluded. To calculate share in a walk-in fridge, we count using the aerial view method as we did with counting forward share. Here, one aerial footprint equals one facing. All convenience packed beer, ciders and RTDs are counted and if there is shelving in the walk-in fridge with lad products on it, this must also be counted. One shelf equals one facing. Wines and soft drinks are excluded from the share count as they do not directly compete within the lads category. Quarts are also excluded from share counts in a walk-in fridge for the reason that in a typical off-premise convenience store, this is not the point of purchase and quart crates are generally stored in a walk-in fridge simply as backup stock to feed into upright fridges or gravity feeders. Counting each aerial footprint as one facing and including each shelf as a facing, this walk-in fridge has a total of 86 facings available. Of this, SAB products occupy 64 facings, while the competitor occupies 24. SAB's share is thus 64 facings of a total 88, which equals to a walk-in fridge share of 73%. The mainstream share of this cooler is 39 facings of 88, which equals 45%. Once again, a more detailed count by subcategory will ascertain our level 1 and 2 premium and AFB shares. Let's recap the walk-in fridge share principles. SAB's share target is to own 68% of the walk-in fridge space. Share is counted using the aerial view method where one aerial footprint equals one facing. Shelves and fridges with beer, cider and RTD products on them must be counted. One shelf equals one facing. We count our total share of the walk-in fridge as well as our mainstream, premium and AFB level 1 and 2 shares. Included in the share count are all convenience packed beers, ciders and RTDs, as well as shelving with lad products on them. Quartz, wines, soft drinks are excluded from the walk-in fridge share count. Merchandising audits are conducted weekly by BMP in the stores. These scores deliver a strike rate by outlet which incorporates walk-in fridge shares, gravity feeder shares, forward shares, and merchandising with an overall total strike rate target of 90%. In achieving your space management goals, remember to make use of the space planning tools available to you, including your weekly KPI reports, the regional generic planograms, your region specific beer and AFB1 pages, as well as getting your regional space planner involved where required. Through effective space management in your stores, where correct category flows have been implemented and correct space is given to each SKU, you will create an enhanced shopping environment that will ultimately deliver more sales and profit for SAB and the retailer.